Hello, in this video, uh, we are going to see an example of uh, the Shanks algorithm, which is also known as Shanks baby step giant step algorithm to find a discrete logarithm. So the question is find the discrete logarithm of 140 modulo prime 149 to the base 5. So what we know what discrete logarithm is, right? So we have to solve this problem g power x equals to h. So what is x? So then x is called the discrete logarithm of h to the base. So g is congruent, g power x is congruent to h modulo p, right? Mod p. So this means uh, x is log of h uh, modulo p to the base g. So here we have h equals to 140. We want to find discrete logarithm of 140. That means of h, log of h. Uh, prime. Prime is modulo whatever. That is prime 149. And the base. So g is 5. So you remember in the Shanks algorithm, we have to make two lists. So first step to make two lists. Step 1 is this. n is the order of g. modulo p so here order of 5 order of 5 modulo prime 149 we know g power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo p right so anyway 5 power 148 this will be congruent to 1 mod p 1 modulo uh, prime prime here is 149 Okay, so order will divide this exponent. Order will divide this exponent. So order of order of five modulo one forty nine. It can be uh, order of one is one. So order of five cannot be one, but divisor of this one forty eight. So one forty eight uh, will be two into seventy four, and again two into two into thirty seven. So order can be 2, order can be 4, or order can be um, 37, right, or order can be uh, 74, or order can be 148. So here you can check phi square is 25, so it's not equals, not congruent to 1. So phi cube, uh, and then phi power 4 directly, phi power 4 is 25 square, right, so 625. What is 625? So let us check uh, 625. 625 uh, modulo 149. So uh, we take modulo 149. So 4 is a quotient. We take out the quotient minus 4. And so we are left with this. We multiply by 149 and we get 29. Okay. So this is. 29 modulo 149 which is also not 1 so the order of 5 is not 4 order of 5 is not 2 okay so it's like that now you can check 5 power 37 so the order of 5 this will be 1 we can check this okay so the order of 5 is this 37 so order of 5 will be this so n is 37 okay and the step 1 is to find small n before we can compute two list step 1 is find small n which is uh, integer part of root n plus 1 so it will be uh, integer part of root uh, 37 plus 1 so root 36 is 6 so this is 6 point something so we 6 plus 1 and so n is 7 so we have two list of length 7 so first uh, list of length 7 and then which is also called baby step g power n we are computing right g g square up to g power n so that is n is 7 uh, now the question is what happens if uh, we don't know we don't want to check this then in the worst case you can take uh, if you don't want to check the order then uh, take n equals to maximum order thinking that it is primitive root 148 
then in this case n will be uh, 148 plus 1 this will be uh, 13 square is 169 so it exceeds 12 square is 144 right so this is 12 point something so this is 12 plus 1 so this will be 13 so our list size will be more only thing either we do computation here to find the order or we do not find the order we take the order as maximum p minus 1 prime is for 149 so we take 148 and then we take uh, do the computation so our list will be longer anyway one list will be longer other list will be shorter anyway because whenever we hit a common uh, common entry in both the list we are done okay so let us uh, make now two list so what is list one list number one list number one i we start from zero one two three four five six seven we have to go up to n so n n is seven and we are computing g power i modulo p that is 5 power i modulo 149 so this is our list right? let me just quickly yeah so 5 power 0 so that is 1 and then multiply 5 to the previous entry 5 power 1 so 5 5 square 25 uh, multiply 5 so 125 5 power 4 625 we already computed here you see 5 power 4 is 29 so sometimes finding order also helps in creating this list so this is 29 and now 29 into 5 so 29 into 5 so that is 145 okay so 145 not a problem we are taking modulo 149 okay now 145 into 5 145 you can consider as uh, minus 4 also 145 this is congruent to minus 4 modulo uh, 149 right so minus 4 into 5 is minus 20 and minus 20 is nothing but 129 add 149 to minus 20 so you will have 129 now 129 into 5 129 into 5 so this is 645 and 645 modulo 149 149 so 4 is a quotient again minus 4 and into 149 so this is 49 okay we are done with the first list 49 now we have to find list number two so this is list number two and what is this this is j and j values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right what we are computing h times g power minus n so here the n value also is useful modulo p okay so h is what 140 is given to us value of h we want to find discrete logarithm h is 140 right uh, and g power minus n 5 power minus 7 modulo 149 this is what we are supposed to compute but then we first have to compute 5 power minus 7 so there are two ways you can compute 5 inverse and then uh, you can raise it to power 7 or you can compute 5 power 7 and then compute its inverse. Uh, minus 7 n is uh, n of course power j. So minus 7 j. So when j is 0 this is 1 so this is just 141st okay now we want to compute 5 power minus 7 so 5 power minus 7 so two ways are there compute 5 inverse and then take power 7 or compute 5 power 7 and then compute its inverse so already 5 powers are here powers of 5 
so i will go by this method because i already know 5 power 7 is 49 see here 5 power 7 is already i know so 49 inverse modulo uh, 149 i have to find out uh, we can use trial and error method also or you can use Fermat's little theorem method and i'll use the easiest one which is extended euclidean algorithm so 149 because it is prime gcd is one so it will have an inverse so 49 49 is almost 50 so 49 into 3 so 90 150 and then subtract 3 so it will be 147 so plus 2 will remain and uh, 3 uh, sorry 49 goes here and uh, 2 and the quotient we get uh, 24 so we have 48 and then we have 1 so 2 divided by 1 quotient is 2 and remainder is 0 remainder is 0 this is the GCD fine and now use the extended Euclidean algorithm so now I am using extended Euclidean algorithm I want to find 1 so this is uh, let's say my A and this is my B so 2 equals to a minus 3b okay and so 1 equals to 49 49 is b minus uh, 24 times 2 24 times uh, 2 2 value i know a minus 3b so this implies 1 equals to uh, b minus uh, and minus plus 24 into 3 so 72 72 plus 173b minus 24a so 1 equals to that is 1 equals to 73 times uh, b is 49 minus 24 times uh, 149 so this is i want to anyway i want to find an inverse of 149 uh, modulo 149 so i already found the inverse 73 is the inverse if that is a correct computation what i have done then this is nothing but uh, 73 so i have found 5 power minus 7 which is 73 oh sorry this is 5 power minus 7 and into 140 okay so here we have to multiply 140 times uh, 73 let's get our calculator 140 uh, 140 we can use as minus 9 also any what we have to do the computation because the other number is 73 larger so one sorry 140 and to 73 this is and we take modulo 149 quotient is 558 we remove the quotient 558 and uh, multiply by 149 we get 78 so this is 78 okay then 78 and what is this list whatever the entry is there we multiply by 5 power minus 7 so 5 power minus 7 and that is 73 so we multiply 73 everywhere so the previous entry 78 into 70 73 this is 149 this is 32 i'm not sure if i'm making a mistake then uh, there will be a problem so 32 into 73 and question 149 and uh, minus 15 this to 149 101 one. i have made some mistake because uh, here i should be getting 49 let me check yes so i made mistake here this is my mistake uh, it should be 140 into uh, 73 okay 
and then divide by 149 take out the quotient 68 and whatever remains multiply by 149 i am getting 88 i wrote 78 okay so this is uh, the mistake kindly make that corrections so the, here also there will be a mistake here also there will be a mistake so this is 88 and this is turning out to be 17 and this is turning out to be 49 and here we have the match okay so when the match is there this is 5 power 7 49 is 5 power 7 what is this this is s times 5 power minus 7 and time uh, raised to j so 5 power minus 7 raised to j j value is uh, we are getting j equals to 3 here i is 7 so this is 3 so this is h times 140 which is 140 times minus 21 and this is matching so we have 5 power 7 equals to 140 times 5 power minus 21 this implies 21 and 7 uh, 5 power 21 plus uh, 7 so this is 28 um, this is 140 so the discrete logarithm is uh, the answer is 28 okay so take uh, one more example as exercise uh, take uh, g equals to 11 find the discrete logarithm of h equals to 30 uh, let me check the value let me check that value prime is i think uh, 71 and uh, find the value of uh, h equals to 21 and prime is 71 do this as exercise and uh, we can check that this also let us check this answer whatever we have got whether it is correct or not on uh, the website so this is on the website jgmeta.com and go in the teaching courses semester 4 or semester 3 you will find cryptography go to the shanks algorithm and uh, put the values and it will give you the solution to check so the field prime for uh, prime for us is 149 and g was uh, for us it was 5 and we wanted to find discrete logarithm and the answer is 28 so you can see the two steps two list okay all these entries you can check